Hello, and welcome to Empire Total War. I shall be playing the Marofa Confederacy on hard and hard difficulty. That's kind of loud. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm going to change it real quick. There we go. I didn't notice that. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to play the Marfall campaign. There they are. On hard and hard difficulty. Um, the advantages the Marfall Confederacy gets is once they take out the Mughal Empire over here. Pretty big, actually, but their military is pretty pathetic, actually. They have pretty much uncontested land, like the only real people who gives them trouble would be like Great Britain and France, and that's like a while from now. Uh, they also have superb me melee infantry, the Hindu warriors, and there's another warrior, I forgot its name. However, their line infantry, they don't get the perk, uh, what? fire by rank or any of the uh, perks that modify how they fire so in the late game versus European countries and a little bit of the colonies they're lagging behind so they're just not up to snuff but they also get war elephants so it's possible to conquer Europe it's just gonna be hard so, that's pretty much it. Let's go get started. Oh, wait. World domination. Let's go. Historian. A historian is a prophet in reverse. Ooh, I like that quote. Frederick von Schnigel, German poet. Or Schlegel. Um. That reminds me, if I pronounce any of these names incorrectly, I am very, very sorry. It's not like I wanted to, but... Well... As you can see, Your time has come. The once powerful Mughal Empire is crumbling. Now the Maratha kingdoms must unite and rise against their oppressors. As such, your priorities should be to begin pushing northwards into Mughal territory. Although the majority of the population is Hindu, their Muslim rulers will be trying to convert as many people as possible across the land. Prevent large-scale conversions by assassinating their Imam teachers if you can. Sending Kharghiz to their cities will give you intelligence about Mughal forces. European powers have begun to show interest in India for the trade wealth they know they can obtain. The Portuguese and Dutch already have a foothold on Indian soil, and the British and French are close behind them. It may be prudent to maintain trade with foreigners, to ally with one or the other for mutual benefit, or to drive them out of your lands altogether. In the latter case, it would be sensible to develop trade capabilities and technological research of your own. Well, thank you for the little introduction. Well, it happens all the time. So, um, here's my battle plan. My sword is going to stab me in the back. I don't know when, but they will. So, I'm going to take this army and bring them down here so I can start conquering them. Then I can take this army, combine it with this army, and we can capture this one. Because it will give me more trade ports. And more ports means more income when I, for I, when I eventually set up trade. Um, United Provinces, they're going to try to get a little piece of the pie too, but they're late game people, so I can't ignore them for now. Um, we also have to deal with the French because we cannot trade with them, so we can't make them happy. Yeah, sad. Ottoman Empire. 
I'm just gonna get my trade agreements. Yes, definitely. So now I'm the allies of the Ottoman Empire. The French are gonna be less likely to attack me. Hopefully. Scholar needs to go to school. And I don't know about you guys, but I like canister shot because it allows me the recruitment of movable artillery. And that's useful. I could conquer Portugal, but they have a navy right there, and I don't want to deal with the navy right now. Because I don't have a navy of my own. Yeah. Uh, if I try to take him right now, they'll crush me. Naval battles. Recruitment. So the Barnger infantry is like their line infantry. And they're pretty good, really. And as you can see, them Hindu warriors, they're a really good melee infantry. Like, chart, melee attack, 15, melee defense. 17. Moral, morale, 7. <sighs> I mispronounced moral. I'm from morale. Oh, God. I'm not worried about these guys. Just the mobs, I think. Mob, mob. The only ones I have to worry about is the general bodyguard, which are elephants. Elephants are pretty cool, but... Let's head over here and start converting this town. And hmm, yeah, combine these forces. So we can attack them. I'm gonna convert three, get three here, kill this guy, conquer my sword because they're just gonna attack me. And. Can't trade with any minor nations. Nope. So, I'm getting four grand a turn, so it's not bad. Can I develop anything? Uh, nope. And nope. Nope, wait. I don't need a brothel. I need the economy stuff. They have a wall that's good. Makes it. Oh, there we go. Make that into a deep mine shaft and get me more gold per turn. And that's pretty much it for this turn. Sorry about that. Jamaica and Rupert's land for no. What counter offer? Chris Bites. Okay. At least they didn't declare war on me. United Provinces, Spain, Prussia, Poland, Lithuania, Austrian Empire. Oh, what's up, people? Are they attacking me? They are. Oh, dear. Hmm. Can I do it? I think I can. Do not forget your dogs of war, your big guns, which are the most to be expected. Arguments of the rights of king. Frederick II, the great king of Prussia. Sorry, I'm missing the game case. Keep me entertained during loading screens. 
Maybe my mic is too sensitive right now. I don't know. Anyways, like I was saying, how are you guys doing? Is it? Are you having a good day? I'm having a pretty okay day. I mean, I spent the last week trying to get Fraps working and all that, and oh, they're attacking at night. That's great. So, man, the cannons. You man the cannons over here. Where you guys come from? You guys man those cannons. You guys man those cannons. You guys man these cannons. No, these cannons up here. You guys handle this. And you guys are back here. And you guys are back here. And we're also around my elephant bodyguard general Walmart. Luckily I have reinforcements of Hindu musketeers coming. All the way over there. Sorry, I have a dog underneath my foot. They're playing around with something. So, let's march up here. Take out the cannons. I'm trying to hit the general. I want to aim for the. The bowman. What are you guys doing? Move. Okay, you're moving. Firing at will. Don't fire at will, fire at the bowman. Luckily, they're a mob too, so it should be easy to make them route. Cannons are a problem, along with the horsemen and the bodyguards, and they have two horsemen cavalry. Are you shooting at people? What are you men? Luckily they start to combat. Like these guys are better swordsmen. Cause they're actually swordsmen. And no, don't run. Just shoot. My battles are horrible. I'm sorry if you can't see this night battle and yeah and looks like they're starting to climb Oh wow. 
get in there. Come on, don't break. They broke. Thanks for nothing. I don't know, it looks like I lost this. I'm going to climb up here. Increase. Uh -huh. Yeah, back on going to climb up here. Stupid. Oh, great. That's just amazing. However, if I defeat the musketeers. Looks like they're heading